What's going on, guys? Broken Profit here. Welcome back to the vlog. Here's hoping that you are having an awesome start of your week. Um, Monday. Yeah. Happy Monday. I always have to make sure what day it was. Hopefully you had a great weekend, a safe weekend, and a good start to a very productive and relaxing and financially lucrative week. Anyway, you guys always know that before I get started, I always got to give an announcement. And the first announcement, I think the only announcement, is the webinar is in two days right now it is monday the, web the webinar is on wednesday the 24th at 7 p.m eastern standard time it is a mini hoodoo boot camp where it is it is designed to get you guys on the ground running get your feet on the ground running when it comes to hoodoo some of y'all have spent five ten years written down all kinds of works done all kinds of works and i've used work twice but you've got no work results once so it's, it's designed to get you with your feet on the ground, hit the ground running, and start getting consistent and reliable results. We're gonna to touch on a little bit of everything. A little bit of candles, a little bit of powder, a little bit of oil, a little bit of divination, because that is important, and a little bit of hoodoo history, working with spirits as well. Normally, my webinars are about 45 minutes to an hour. It's probably gonna be around an hour and a half. If you are not able to catch it live, no worries. You can um get the replay just make sure you book your seat follow the instructions and you will have access to the replay whenever you want okay so without further ado let's get into this video right here <laughs> you know what y'all are a mess y'all are a mess because the inspiration for this video came from two areas actually three areas let me let me tell y'all why this video came to be because we are going to talk about three multi-purpose hoodoo love herbs because y'all seem to like all the um the herb videos that i've been doing here lately i decided well i'll do another one and let's let this one be about love and you know why for some reason y'all keep bringing up that dang gone juniper berry working that i gave out and i don't even remember what video it was people people are texting me asking which video it was i have no idea but it's a video um <laughs> you can use juniper berries two ways one is to break someone's will another way is to make a lady's you know great okay great so somebody texted me and said but you know you out of juniper berries on the site and i was like really i just gotta order a juniper berries in and they gone already so that's one reason why I decided to make this video about love herbs, because I'm out of juniper berries. But you can use other things besides juniper berries, you know, because all y'all want to do is hunch on somebody. Uh, the other way, the other reason why I did this, well, decided to do this video is because I read a comment in one of the videos. The last, um, well, the one that I did about basil and thyme you know, for getting rid of enemies. Someone commented, wait, basil and thyme, I thought those were the money herbs. And I and I respond and I replied, yes, they absolutely are. See, that's what makes books on hoodoo so difficult because what a root or a herb does a lot of times is dependent upon how you're using it. If you use it one way, it'll draw money. Use it another way, it will um, repel enemies. So these three herbs are multi-use, meaning you may be used to using them one way, but I'm gonna show you how to use them for love, okay? And the third reason, because didn't I say it were three reasons? Did I say it were three reasons? I'm trying to remember what the third reason was. I don't know. If I remember during the video, I'll tell you. But those are the two reasons or two things that led up to this Oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. Because we're going to start with the first one, and I'll tell you why. The first one <laughs> is going to be this thing right here, the Rose of Jericho, okay? Now, what made me do this, decide on this video is I ordered some Rose of Jericho to sell you guys because I was out. Foolish me, I ordered by the pound instead of ordering a bunch of individual Rose of Jerichos. Y'all look... Look at these Nick Nogs sent me. What in the world? I mean, this is considered a big Rose of Jericho. Look at this thing. I said, I know good and doggone well. Y'all ain't sent me the mother 
of all roses of Jericho. And then look at this. I said, you know what? This looks like one of those things that blows down the street in the cowboy movie. But anyway, that's the third thing. So we're going to start with this one, the rose of Jericho. Now, remember, we're talking about multi-use herbs, things you may have gotten used to use in one way, but I'm going to show you how to use them for a love working. Now, we know that a lot of times the rose of Jericho is used to attract money because once you put it in water, it opens up. It is a very pretty green. I don't think you can see with this one, but that big one I just had, no, not you. I think you can kind of see some green in there. You see? Yeah, y'all can kind of see some green in there. When you open it up, it is a very pretty green on the inside. And a lot of people say it's money green. So if you just put it in some water and open it up every so often, it is said to attract money into your home. I have one on my money altar right behind me. Now, when you take the Rose of Jericho out of water, it balls back up just like this. That's why another name for it is the resurrection plant because it always looks dry and dead. But as soon as you put it in water, it blooms and comes back to life. Now, we can also use this for protection because if you write, you know, your name on a piece of paper and put it in there and let it close up, it'll protect you. Can't nothing get to you, right? But I know y'all like, well, Prophet, how can we use this for love? I'm going to give y'all two very slick ways that I have used it before myself. So what you do is you take two slips. Of paper. It can be brown paper bag, or y'all want to buy that expensive parchment paper, it's on you. I use brown paper bag. And you write your name on one slip. Then on the second slip, you write another person's name. A love interest. Then you take the papers and you twist them together. You know how y'all do. Y'all smokers, you know how y'all do. You twist, but you know, you twist them together. And then you put them inside of an already opened Rose of Jericho. Take it out of the water, let it close up, and it will seal, lock, and bind y'all together. Y'all love using the word binding. A binding, there's no such thing as a hoodoo binding spell, y'all. We don't do that. But this will seal and lock y'all together. Okay, now I tell y'all another way that you, that you can use this bad boy. Because remember, what it does is often dictated by how you use it, right? The theme of this video. So let's say your lady or ladies, let's say your man is going out. And you know your lady's going out with old two-drink Keisha. You know, she she take two drinks and she wild and you just don't want your lady around that mess. Or ladies, you don't want your fella around doggone hit him up Henry. Because Henry always want everybody. <laughs> hit him up Henry. Anyway, so, you know, rather than arguing, well, you better stay home. Rather than do all that, this is what you do. You take a little bit of hair nail clipping or worst case scenario write their name on a piece of paper again you put it in there as soon as they walk out the door because it takes a little time for this bad boy to close up once it's been open take it out of the water let it dry as and it's going to close slowly over the night and by the time it closes it usually takes about an hour or two time it closes wrap it up in twine uh they're gonna come home and, they, and trust me, they're going to be like, you know what? I don't even know why I went out tonight. I should have just stayed home with you. And all you can, all you need to do is just go, hmm, dang. Well, I mean, if that's what you want to do, you know, I'm here for you. Okay, so <laughs> multi-use root and herb number one is the Rose of Jericho. Number two, it's not really a root or herb. It's more um, a seasoning. Uh, some a ground it it, it, it grows y'all tell me how to classify it. it's cinnamon now i know y'all like wait a minute prophet hold up time out flag on the plate clipping we have all heard about using cinnamon before we put it in workings to heat something up right we put it in workings to speed up a working and you're right you're right above before anything else it's, it's a spice that's what it is cinnamon is a spice it heats things up. Now, a lot of times we think of it because it, it, when paired with sugar, it tastes amazing. And that's what most people use it for. But seasoning is really a spice. And if you take, you know, put some raw season, uh, cinnamon in your mouth, it's hot. You know, those little red candies. Yeah. Cinnamon is hot. 
and you can put it in workings to speed them up. Not all, not all the time. We're going to go through that in the webinar, okay? You don't want to go dumping see, uh, sentiment in everything because y'all impatient, want to speed up everything. Slow down, young Padawan. But did y'all know that amongst root working circles, we use cinnamon for other things. Cinnamon can be used to attract. Oh, yeah. See, cinnamon, if you sprinkle it around your bedroom, starting at the front left corner, you sprinkle some there. Then the back right corner, you sprinkle it there. Then the front right corner, you sprinkle it there. Then the back left corner, you sprinkle it there. Look here, it's like this. All right. First, I'm going to go here, sprinkle it. Then I'm going to go there and sprinkle it. Then I'm going to go there and sprinkle it. Camera focus. Now go back. You know, it, you're making an X in the room. Okay. You're making an X. Yeah. You know, you're making an X. When you do that, that attracts love. Now, y'all love using the word intent. Keep a person's um, face, name, everything about them in your mind, in your brain meets, in your thoughts as you're sprinkling, and it will attract that person. Now, if you don't have any specific person in mind, you just want your person because some of y'all are in love with a person that ain't your person. But I digress. If you want to attract your person that's out there wandering around, just think about the characteristics that you desire. OK, you know, height, weight, looks, financial status, everything. Don't just say as much as possible. Come on, y'all. Let's come on. <laughs> and then do that and then start paying attention. You'll see that that very type of person will become attracted to you. And they don't want to see that room that you don't sprinkle that cinnamon in. So uh, root herb spice number two is cinnamon. Now, number three, <laughs> number three, I shuddered. I almost didn't give y'all number three. I'll tell y'all why. Yeah. But yeah, y'all see, it is, it's lemon verbena. Now, we all know lemon verbena is good for cleansing. It is good for um, inviting positive energy in the house. It is one of the key ingredients in some people's Van Van oil. Lemon verbena is great. But if you, you know, if you put it in mop water, put it in oil, it, it brings around good energy and repels bad energy. Great. And it's with that same notion in mind, if you sprinkle a little bit in the shirt pocket. Now, before y'all ask, well, probably what if my shirt don't have pockets? You got to wear a shirt with a pocket in the front. OK, you sprinkle some in your shirt pocket and you walk around, it'll seal the mouths of people who are talking bad about you, gossiping about you or just can't keep your name out your mouth, out, out their mouths. OK, it shuts up enemies It is a good stop gossip working. It's great for that. I mean, it is great for that. But did y'all also know? And they, here, here's the love aspect of it. Here's the love aspect of it. If you take lemon verbena and sprinkle it around um, <laughs> up under your mattress or up under a sofa <laughs> right before a date that's coming to your house, um, it'll 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 have the same effect as the juniper berries. One, it'll make that date uh, more likely to lead to a physical exchange of love and to them it is going to be amazing may not do much for you but to them it's going to be amazing it's going to be the bee's knees they're going to want to come back for a repeat engagement okay that's why i, I shudder because i'm like you know what uh, y'all I, I just don't know if y'all gonna be good with this like y'all were with the juniper berries y'all were bad but you know what if you're gonna be bad be good at it i mean shoot that's all I can say. But anyway, guys, um, hopefully you got something from this video. I'm going to try to get it uploaded to you guys Monday night because it's Monday when I'm recording. It. I'm going to try to get it to you Monday. If I was a little disheveled again, 
um, filming this video in front of a live studio audience, my channel members. Thank y'all so much. I try not to look at the chat because y'all always try to throw me off when y'all in the chat. But I do appreciate you. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Isn't that what a YouTuber is supposed to say? Smash that like button. Y'all, listen, do me a favor. Somebody said when we say smash that like button, it, it starts glowing. Somebody comment let me know if that happens when y'all watch this video later. Okay, thank you so much. Get in on the webinar. Go to my site, www.trueconjure.com. It should be right here next to the Cash App or Venmo so you can run them donations. Y'all have a good one. God bless. Profit out.